Being frozen means that we can't get sleep powder this... Oh, sh... Yes! Come on, hit the range! You're the GOAT, bro! I can't handle this game, man. It's too much. Every day I play this takes like 17 years off of my life. Morning, gamers. God, yesterday was f***ing stressful. Uh, I was thinking a lot about the... the steer yesterday. I mean, in hindsight, I'm glad I did what I did. It was like, I played to the out that gets me out with no sacks, which I think, looking at the position of my box, is obviously good. There was like an alternative route I could have taken that I thought, I didn't like vocalize my thoughts a lot because I was so focused. Um, but basically there was another route I could have gone when, after Salazzle switches into... Um, Roserade, where I just click Toxic. And I risk Salazzle dying on the 50-50. And then either Salazzle's dead, or if Salazzle survives, I sack Sand Slash. And then I try to stall out Toxic turns with Synth Torterra. Because I knew from the calcs that Torterra was never dead to Roserade. And I had a Citrus Berry. Um, so I probably could have... Probably could have done it. And then I never wipe. Whereas with the Salazzle line, like, there was always a wipe angle. Um, obviously this result is better, but... It's hard to think about in hindsight, but the thing is, um... I, my, my main motivation for it was that genuinely, Salazzle has come to what feels like every fight on this split so far, and I think it's genuinely like a top three mon in my box, and I'm really good at using it. I'm genuinely really, really, really good at using Salazzle. Um, so it felt like a super valuable asset. And risking that on a 50-50 just seemed really, really, really rough. Um, maybe, like, it was a mistake. Even though it worked out. Like, if I don't hit the Encore, it's really, 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 really bad. After I hit the Encore, it's kind of fine to go for the Sand Slash risk because I have back because I can basically do that line again afterwards. Where I go back to Salazzle and then I hit the Toxic. But if I miss the Encore, I have to, like, ball out with hitting two hits on Roserade with, with Dragapult and then somehow still get the chain in the back. Um, and if Dragapult misses like one hit, I can wipe. Especially because Roserade could have also Sleep Powder Pult and then I think I super lose. Um, so clicking that Encore was like a 10% chance to like almost always lose the run, I think. Quick round of Pokadoku. Fairy Rock. DNC Mega. I think there's only like three here, so. Dual type rock. Um. Cleavor. Rock type Johto. Let's do Tyranitar Mega. What I mean. Fairy Steel. We've learned this one. Magirna Original. Dual Type Steel. Diglett. Alola. Johto Steel. Scizor Mega. Fairy Baby. That's me. Um. Azuril. Dual type baby, Mime Junior, Johto baby. That's Ellie. Um, Tyler one. Holy, eighty eight out of eighty one. Let's go. Oh, Meteor Forms! The fact that these are all different are cr is crazy. Solgaleo, yeah, yeah. I think other than that, Deancey, quite a bit below Deancey Mega, but it's fine. Not the biggest Delta. Mantic here. Yeah, we cooked. Okay, am I getting this right? That this is a gauntlet, but I can heal and reposition in between? It's this, right? Okay, these will be two back-to-back -back trainers. 
I can heal in between them, but I can't leave in between them. Dude, this, uh, this area is so stressful. We got this. Okay, permanent aurora veil. Once again, until we break it. We are leading with Life Orb Ludicolo. Which means that through Aurora Veil, we always, our highest roll of energy ball always fast kills, which means he can't shell smash. The only thing he can do on this turn, he can't even explode. The only thing he can do is either Toxic Spikes or Hydro Pump. Most likely this is Toxic Spikes. He's Bright Powder, so we have to Magical Leaf. Okay, spikes are out. We kill. This is always Aerodactyl. For dual wing beater, Stone Edge. Remember, this is unnerved. We cannot eat our berries. We're going to open by going to... This is Choice Band, by the way. Whatever moves he uses now, he will lock himself into. We're going to go Nidoqueen. Queen. Her only job on this fight is to remove these Toxic Spikes for exactly Rhyperior, which is why this line seems so f***ing wacky and bad. Okay, dual wing beat. That's potentially maybe not great for us. Because Rhyperior needs to take a lot of damage here. So we need to go Rhyperior, and we need to take enough damage to bait Frostlass after this. We also need to break the Veil with Brick Break. So the Citrus Berry will not proc while Aerodactyl is out, but as soon as it goes down it will proc. So after Citrus Berry we have to be in Frostlass range. I might not be able to do this. I don't think Brick Break Crit ever kills from this position, but it does a lot. We Earthquake first. Ah, oh, this plan was so ass. We need Frostlass first. We have to stall. I think we can do it. I think we need to go to, down to like 110. If we're too high, we bait Crawdon first. What is the minimum roll here? Can I do it? 48, we would go, we need one more round. Too much. No, too much is fine. Too much is fine. I think. I think it's fine. Oh no. Oh, I f***ed it up. I think I f***ed it up. We're fine. 
It's never Hex, it's never Superpower Malamar. But it was really close. <sighs> okay, we have to dodge a 1 in 3000 now. Double high roll crit. We pre froze again, but this time it actually fing works, okay? Because when you learn from something, you don't just never do that thing again. You learn exactly what you did wrong, and that was getting hit by a fire type. This is always exactly freeze dry. We are never dead. And now this is always Hex. Can't be Sing. We're Zoom Lens. This is Bright Powder Frost Last, by the way. It's very similar to the Rose Raid. We kill by always surviving Hex Crit here. And we unfreeze by clicking Flare Blitz. He can't Sing. Beautiful. Should always be Malamar. For random move. It's uh, contrary Malamar. The beautiful thing is that if he raises defense to plus one with contrary, Durant first impression still always kills. And I believe, am I ever dead to Aqua Jet crit from Crawdont? Do I even have the kill? With Silver Powder? I don't, I need to switch. This can never be Swords Dance, I don't think. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, I can't go for this kill. Um, because he could not click Aqua Jet here. Because he sees a kill with his other two moves. But we can just go to Shifu. We're holding a citrus berry. If this is knockoff, it's fine. That works. Okay. So this next part is really weird. We're either gonna break this guy's ankles, or we're gonna get wiped, depending on if I missed something or not. I'm gonna hold off on healing Durant for just a second. This team is so bad if anything goes wrong. I don't think we have to PP heal anything else. I mean, I might as well. I think everything else doesn't matter. Um. Okay, so we're gonna do one strategic thing here. I'm gonna explain when it's when it comes up, but basically I'm gonna delete Smart Strike, which is reteachable, on Durant and replace it with Rock Smash. We don't actually plan on clicking it. This is for baiting. Is Ant currently... Uh, I should just heal it. Stick to the line. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna try to abuse the f out of the Scallopede with speed boost. Stay we're gonna use this first turn to break the Aurora Veil with Brick Break. He's gonna either Swords Dance or attack us here, and then get a speed boost from speed boost. <sighs> Let's hope for Swords Dance. Okay. So now, the way I believe that this works, because he has stat boosts, he has to click Baton Pass here. 
and the baton pass logic should follow the same logic as regular switch in AI. By this logic, we should see Delmize come in here now. And we're going to catch that with a fire punch. <sighs> Please tell me that this is how it works. Okay! Read his switch. Okay, this is plus one, plus two. It has a quick claw. We outspeed it, but it has a quick claw. <sighs> it's either going to use Poltergeist or Power Whip here. This is why we went no item on Durant, because now it does no damage. Because we scaled attack on Shifu and gave it a life orb, Durant now always kills with first impression and goes before the quick claw. Let's hope for no Power Whip crit here. Okay, perfect. So, we're gonna kill this with first impression now. And I think, because I deleted Smart Strike and replaced it with Rock Smash, Scallopede now out damages us, so Scallopede should come out first. Over Dreadnought. I think I did this right. Okay, I missed something. Ah, uh, because Scallopede took a brick break. That's why. Okay. It's fine. We accounted for this. This is either Stealth Rock or Stone Edge. Or very unlikely Liquidation. We can think about staying in here. We could just switch to Shifu and kill this with CC. But because of the defense drops and the life orb ticks, that's going to start making sh really f***ing awkward. If I Rock Smash, I can kill with Brick Break with Shifu. Saving us a defense drop, which is huge. And I think then we can recover the line, I think. In theory, Stone Edge puts us into liquidation range and we could get liquidation defense dropped on the switch in. Can he ever jaw lock? He shouldn't. Unless it has special AI. And if he jaw locks on the Shifu switch in, it's fine. I know trapping moves have special AI, but I don't know if jaw lock is counted for that. Shifu just needs to stay healthy enough to not be in kill range of Huntail, basically. That's the only thing that matters. I think. Because, because Scallopede can never Swords Dance on Shifu because we scaled attack and went Life Orb. He actually can never Swords Dance again as long as Shifu is out. We're still taking a lot of damage here, but I think it's fine. No crit here, please. Unfortunate. Brick Brick always kills. And should bring out Scallopede. I think I have to... I think I have to change up the line. He's guaranteed to Megahorn here. Crit never kills me. But it puts me into kill range. Okay, let's think about this for a second. Liquidation kill range. He can't... He can, so he can't Swords Dance? Because I have Slow Kill with Fire Punch, right? Because Brick Break into Fire Punch always kills. Or Brick Break into Highest Roll Fire Punch, rather. If I don't get put into kill range... I have to close combat. Because... If he then shell smashes... Oh f***, doesn't even kill with AJ. Oh, this is so scary. 
Okay, I think I think we run the backup line maybe. The backup line is he has to Mega Horn, so we go to Nitto Queen. And after hitting Nitto Queen, he never sees a kill with Aqua Tail, which means he has to Baton Pass because he has a speed boost. Which means I can then catch that switch with Ludi. But then I still have to skill with, deal with Scallopede at some point. The, the, the idea being that Ludi always wins v1s and then baits Mega Horn, and then I can play it from there. If I take just a regular ass Mega Horn here, I mean, I'm always. Um, I mean, it's gonna be. I'm not always in liquidation. Well, I, I also take Life Orb. Hold on. I think I die. I take 30, right? Okay, I never die. So, one thought here is I'm never dead. He can miss Mega Horn, though. Mega Horn Max Roll Crit into Life Orb Chip does not kill me. Or does it? No, it does. It does. It does. It does. Okay, I can't attack. I cannot attack. Okay. We go Nitto Queen. And then force the Baton Pass. I have to come up with a plan to deal with Scallopede afterwards. Unfortunately. What do I do on the on the Huntail switch? If I go to Shifu. I always clean him up. And then I prevent. Oh dude, I can wipe here. I can super wipe here. I can't go Shifu on Huntail. Because he can smash. And then I can't kill him. Because I thought I calc this, but apparently it doesn't kill CC into Aqua Jet. So I think I have to kill Huntail with Ludi. And then always bait the Mega Horn. And then try to win with Rhyperior or something. If I sack before I go Rhyperior, I always win, I think. Hold on. If it's Ludi on the hard Huntail, I just fake out into Energy Ball and I never lose. Even though he's faster. Because he's he, he can't smash. And then I either sack or I risk... Rhyperior. He should never Swords Dance. Sorry, I had to load the scripts there. He never sees tail kill with Aqua Tail. So he should always baton pass. Okay. <clears throat> Fake out, because we need the damage. Into Energy Ball. To always kill. I'm Lumberry in case he rolls Ice Fang. He's almost always going to crunch, though. White herb bug, don't worry about it. Okay, we're definitely not out of this, but he has to Mega Horn this turn. I either go hard Rhyperior on this Mega Horn, and always die to Aqua Tail crit. Almost always. Or I sack Nido Queen. If I go Durant, he can Swords Dance, and then I definitely wipe. My question is if I, because my Nido Queen has a fing Citrus Berry. If this Mega Horn misses, he can Swords Dance. And then I think I lose. That's the problem with switching to Nido Queen here. If he rolls like. Average on both crits, uh, on, on, on crit, Rhyperior dies. 
and it's either crit, plus I take a bit of rocks damage. I kind of regret giving Arcanine my Jaboka Berry now, because I, there's a play where I pivot Arcanine into Nidoqueen here. Uh, punished. How much do all my priority moves do? 85. He's at 85%. Nidal Queen Earth Power would do 40 minimum. 46 maximum. Or I could just Super Fang for 42 if I want to. I think Hard Rhyperior is probably a little bit crazy. So do I sack my Jaboka for the correct pivot and then sack Nidal Queen? I think if it's Mega Horn Miss into Swords Dance, I can still clutch up. Good. Citrus fits me here. He can still Swords Dance. We gotta get the guaranteed damage. Do I Earth Power or do I Super Fang? It almost doesn't matter. Earth Power is 39 to 46 and Super Fang does exactly 42. What's Earth Power? Okay, no Swords Dance. Nidoqueen Queen can clutch up here. This is random move. I can try to clean up with Durant. I don't think I have enough damage because I deleted Smart Strike. <laughs> and this is at 41. I have minimum rolled on Earth Power. I think Nidoqueen Queen has to pray for the miss here. First impression will put him at like 20, so then every rec Priority move kills. I think I could try to do this with Durant. First impression into X Scissor has a chance to kill. And if I'm put into kill range, I can just sack Nidal Queen and then revenge kill. I always get first impression off at least. And then if he swords dances, I just sack Nidal Queen and then revenge kill with any priority move. I think I, I think I'll try to save Nidal Queen. He did not swords dance. This is a random move, so I think we're back to sacking Nido Queen, right? I never wipe. I think I maybe have something. I don't think he can Swords Dance. Yeah, yeah, because I have slow kill. If I go Rhyperior. I think I always bait Aqua Tail after. It doesn't really matter. It does not really matter. I think we just gotta sack Nidal Queen. If I confirm Aqua Tail, I can kill with Shifu Aqua Jet. And never be dead to crit plus life orb. I do take rocks damage too, which is... Nineteen. So that's nineteen plus thirty from life orb is forty-nine plus aqua tail max roll crit. Is like... 
96 or something. If it's crit Aqua Tail on Rhyperior, I sack Nidoqueen. I think this is okay. You can't Swords Dance, I have slow kill. I'm always dead to Aqua Tail crit. And Aqua Tail is always highest damage. I think I have it. Aqua Tail crit into rocks into life orb recoil never kills or shifu. Aqua Jet with Life Orb boost does minimum 30%. He's in red health, which means he's 20% or less. All caps. <sighs> All caps, baby! Oh my god!